Oh yeah, speaking of people wanting to talk. Nope. Oh, he, he likes Tinny now, okay. Alright, you, you guys enjoy each other's company. Oh, you do want to talk to Shannon, huh? Alright. Yeah, you still do not like Dermot. Not that it really matters at this point. It would be nice, because it means I could go ham with the gay ball. It would be fine, but... Alright. Let's try again to... Gay ball one of these guys down. It requires an adapter of crit proc, but sometimes you get lucky, right? Like that. Provided he doesn't provide. Can he provide a crit? We won't find out now. I don't think you can provide a crit, though. Alright, how does Stealth look? Probably gonna have to use Steel or Silver Sword for the possible crit chance. How does Shannon fare? Shannon does alright, actually. Hmm. With an adept proc, he could do it. I don't know if I want to use my... Uh... Ooh, I can dance really far, actually. Which is nice. Um... Yeah, I think I am going to put Sid here, because this will allow him to attack, and I can potentially dance for him if I need the heal. And if I don't need the heal, then I can just dance for someone else. Well, we didn't get an Adept proc. Crit? Uh, that was not the crit animation, I don't think. Adept. Adept. He got it, but he didn't crit. A cost? Does he have a cost? Oh, there he goes. Does he have a cost? He didn't proc it if he did. He does have a cost. Alright, alright. Um... Larsine versus what's left of this guy? I kind of like that, actually. It's a good way to get rid of this guy without committing a, one of my bigger units. Damp of ice. Cool. I have two HP is nice, I guess. Uh, Lester, this seems like a way for you to die really efficiently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So even without road, he can get to safety. So let's go ahead and give it a shot, see what happens. Maybe he'll crit, like six times, on his four attacks. Holy shit, we got there. I'm almost ready to take back the horrible things I said about you, Lester. Almost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can they reach that? They can't. they can't from that. They can from that spot, but yeah. So Oifi can come up here, and we can go Armor Slayer. Uh, he takes a chunk of damage if he gets hit, but we can do some damage ourselves actually. With the Armor Slayer. We need to. We need Pavice to not proc. Ooh, nice dodge. There we go. Look at this. We are conserving for SETI uses, and we're doing a very good job of it. We're also getting very lucky on these Pavice procs. Oh, shit. He can't reach now. Um, is that Ares? That's Ares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's okay. We can set up the the dance there. Um, can I put enough effort in to actually kill you this turn? We need to kill at least two to get her into two range, which would be for steady use. 
three if we want to get that. I think we can, actually. So let's try and kill enough of these guys to kill her. Because removing her would be a huge boon. He actually opted for Thorin over the Lance. I guess because of the hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He has nine, right? Or is he eight? It's not. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna have you come up here. And we'll get in position for the dance. Damn it. Really? No a death proc? That was not the crit animation. The Depth Proc? That also was not the crit animation. Oh, it was the crit animation, I lied. I have a hard time telling sometimes, because it's basically a slightly different way in which they move their hand. One, two... Th oh, self can't get danced, so he may as well go all out here. Uh, let's try and make sure we stay out of range of... Oh, okay, we're way out of range of the sleep staves. Staying out of his Fenrir is kind of unnecessary. It's not that big a deal. Um, actually... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's, he's not gonna have much left over. We're gonna go with Silver Sword again, because it crits. And it makes a difference. Back up a little bit. I'm still in range of the castle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, we're still in range of the castle, so we can get that next turn. Can't dance for him anyways. Uh, I don't know if I want Dermot up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can back off a little bit. Um, I don't know if he's going to do much against these guys, though. Uh, 35 on 19, so it's, uh, 16 damage. Four times is 70, you know, it's not 64. And he can't crit. He does have a depth. Um, so it's possible he gets away with this. What's the Earth Sword look like if he's in a 1-2 range here? Really garbage. Silver Blade doesn't have crit on it, does it? No. Yeah, uh, he has no crit. Does he have crit built in? No. That's right, he does not. I should know that. Um, <laughs> he can back off to safety, though. We've, we already killed that, sort of. I think he might still be in range of, like, one or two of Oh my god, this is not good. But he might still be in range of, like, one or two of them, but he still can get more or less out of range of most of them. Wow, no depth Brock, and he only got the one hit off. That's garbage. Um, you can't get in range. Let's dance here. We need to get Hilda out of the picture. Thankfully, the Baron's 29 magic is actually really respectable at this stage in the game in terms of um, survivability. Usually, they have things like her 50, where it's just like, yeah, I really don't want to fight that. I think we'll have Ares go first, because I think he has the best possible chance to kill her while taking very little damage in return. <laughs> I won't fall anywhere near as easily as those other worms. We'll see about that. Nice dodge. Well, you fell easier than the other worms. How about that? Ishtar, avenge me. You must avenge me. I thought we killed- no, they retreated again, because that's all they ever fucking do. Um, I don't want Ares too close to the front line, because he's just going to be a distraction. Well... The thing is, there are already a bunch of people in range, and you don't have- You know, you got 21, so they don't take that much damage. Um, we are just going to throw Arthur here, and whatever is 
however much Forsetti we use is how much Forsetti we use, I guess. Well, that's a good start. Keep moving forward. So yeah, there's a handful of non-1-2 range people who are in range. But... We should be fine, for the most part. I can squeeze someone in right here. Probably don't want to squeeze you in there, though. Yeah, we're fine. It's two, two blocks. Alright, you guys... Could potentially make good progress, but they don't seem to be moving all that much. I think that's a turn. Alright, Freegy. Freegy, Freegy. Oh, fuck this. Oh, they're going after Arthur. Interesting. They're looking at that 9% hit, like, we got this one. Sadly, though, with this single RN, they... Kinda do sorta got this one. Thank you. The more crits, the better. Conserve that Forsetti. We can only repair so many uses of it. Actually, I could have. Sh I could theoretically have Shannon give money to Patty, and then have Patty give money to Arthur. If I need Forsetti repaired, like, a lot. Um, I don't- I guess I don't know if we're gonna need a lot of repairs. Okay, now they're finally going after the other people. It's like, I want to do that one damage to Ares. But I failed. And now there's still three potential attacks on Seleth if they want to. I don't know if they will, but they could potentially go on Seleth. One of them isn't, though. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Thank you for those crits. Uh-oh. No device. Got there. Alright, so we're going to have to remove the one of those two from Self's way so that he can actually get in, but then it's a quick seize. Alright, though well, that wasn't so bad in terms of Forsetti uses. It was a lot, but it was not, like, too much. Not a prey to the dark. Alright, what do we got? We're at 16 damage. It hurts, but we can heal him. He's gonna be fine. I wish I had remembered to switch back to Tearfring. Or he can dodge. He can dodge, too. That, that's also acceptable. I suppose. They're starting to panic. They're like, uh... Our front line kind of just folded. We're not going to make it there in time before we auto-die. Valhalla? Wait, Valhalla? Which units are Valhalla? Oh, shit. Are those dark mages up there, Valhalla? Do they not go away if I kill them? Please tell me you guys aren't Valhallas. Yalba, Youngbai, Scorpius. What? So this this one, right? No, Freege. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, these guys are Arbal Hall, so they don't go away when I take the fucking fort. Fuck me. Pain in my ass. Um. Yeah, and these guys are Young Bai, which is the name of the continent, I thought, so... 
Or are they up here? No, that's Wolfmare. I don't know if they'll disappear, the horse guys. This is uh, a little concerning suddenly. Let's, uh, let's take this guy out, maybe. There's a lot that can go wrong and a lot that can go right. This is kind of all over the place here. Got there. The siege, tear frame, powderize, and then he's in a bunch of sleep staff range. Nice dodge. Goodbye. Alright, well that guy we knew was going to go away. Oh, I heard more people go away. I hope that's the horses. But obviously the Valhalla guys didn't, which is really unfortunate. Fridge is ours, Lewin. We must finally... We finally made it this far. But I can't help but wonder, are the children of Valhalla still unharmed? I pray they are. Funny you should say that. We've got a visitor who got a bit of news on that front, Seleth. Who are you? My name is Philippe, sir. I was once, once an aide to the late Emperor Arvis. On secret orders from His Majesty, the abetted children were moved here to Frege for safekeeping. What? Is that true? You saved all the children? Rest easy, sire. They are hiding in the, the city's abbey. There's nothing... They're all in good help. health. And all under Hilda's nose at that. That you've kept every last child safe in Hilda's own city. Color me impressed. Actually, sire, Princess Ishtar deserves your thanks. Without her generous aid, given in secret, we could never have done this. No Imperial soldiers dare come even close to the Abbey, on pain of the Princess's wrath. Princess Ishtar? But why? Why would she? Few people in this land are as kind and caring as Princess Ishtar. Along with Prince the Princess, as has toiled all along the Princess has toiled behind the scenes to aid our cause. It was Princess Ishtar herself who ensured that every last child escaped from the bowels of Belhalla. I see. At any rate, thank the gods for their safety. I'm certain everyone will be glad to know that children are in good hands. You have my deepest thanks, Lord Philippe. Well, Seleth, that's one job done. Good to see we're finally getting some results out of this mess. <laughs> yeah, and yet Julia still eludes us. Where could she possibly be? The only options left now are Balhalla and Velthmore. It's got to be one of those two. And Balhalla is where Julius awaits. Yeah, and we'll have to find Julia first, if we want to go anywhere near Balhalla. Without Julius' power on our side, we won't have a hope in hell against Julius. No matter, but no matter what's happened, Julius is still her brother. Will she even want to fight him? You'll have to convince her. Okay, so I'm guessing that goes down. We're not going to Balhalla. Sounds like we're going to Valthamor. So we have to, like, what, walk by Balhalla? Hopefully they're not, like, surrounded by, um, what are it, Fenrir mages. Still way too many sleep staves we have to deal with. I can silence one or two of them. Actually, I can silence two of them this turn. Can I, if I do that... No, Self is still in range of that one. How many others am I in range of? Just the one. And I want to make sure that... Yeah, they disappeared. Do do do. Gotta get my restore save on the move. This is probably gonna be a slow part here. As I have to get my restore staff near anybody in order to start killing these guys. So I have to silence them, restore, silence and restore, silence and restore to get past these guys in a reasonable fashion. I mean, I could kill one right now, but that's not really helping me. I think that's just what I have to do, is I have to line up outside their range this turn. Um, can I, I can't silence from here.
It's not worth silencing, though, the one of them. I'd rather get in position where I can kill, like, two, maybe, if I'm lucky, three of them, and then silence one of them so that they only have one sleep left. I think that's kind of going to be the goal here. So you can get here. We do want you up here. We'll dance for shiggles more than anything, but we're not really going to be moving anybody. Uh, when do you wake up? Several turns. Because uh, if you wake up, then I can send you to kill one too, which would be really useful. You're holding tear frame. Yeah, so this guy does no damage to you. 36 to your... 41. Yeah, we're fine. You're going to get slept, but uh, it's one of those things where what are you going to do? Bin. Oh shit, I just realized I'm putting them around this guy's range, but I don't want to... Okay, we're good. We're good, never mind. I thought for some reason I was going to get into one other guy's range. But yeah, we can set up like this. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, that was heal, not mend, and this is from Nana, so that's barely gonna, yeah. That's barely gonna help. Because Nana's like, magic? What's that? Alright. Now, I've tried to keep myself relatively unspoiled for a lot of this game, but as you know, I have a friend who's kind of been helping me out a little bit in the back, and he informed me that I do not want Altina up here right now, and that I can send her back home. I think I still have a warp staff on you. Yeah. So, we're going to fly you down here, and we're going to warp you back on the next turn. That's what I was told by a friend of mine. So, again, most of this is spoil-free, but he's like, you really want to send Altina, it's for the best. So that's all I know. If I may, Lord Julius, I'd like to lead the... Holy shit, uh, Weisen Weisenritter? I think Weisenritter. Uh, to bolster the capital's defenses. This will require that I leave your side, even for a while. I beg your forgiveness. <laughs> Why the rush to get out there so suddenly, Ishtar? All the soldiers they could ever throw at us could never so much as scratch me. Why even bother with those maggots? Yes, I know, but for me, there is no greater pride than being one of Frigia's great mages. My parents and brother lie dead, and I cannot stand to leave their murderers to run amok. Murderers to run amok. Please, all I ask is a chance for vengeance. It sounds as if you really want to join your family in death on a rebel's blade. Are you so desperate to escape me, Ishtar? No, nothing like that, Lord Julius. I love you. Nothing will ever change that. <laughs> I know, very well. Fight if you must. I won't stop you. Thank you. Now, I beg your pardon, Men Menig, Belig, Mabel, holy shit, uh, Mabel is at least a little bit more pronounceable. Um, we sorte at once. Yes, my lady. Now then, I think it's time we put an end to this sorry show. Dreadlords, move out. And someone, order Aaron's unit to attack. Oh, is that why they told me to send Altina back? The time for games is over. Every last rebel lies dead, here and now. <laughs> the rebels have come to play at last, I hear, Julia. Why don't you join them? Purge all those who dare oppose the Empire. Yes, your... Uh, yes, your uh, lord, your excellency. Oh, is she actually going to walk towards me, or is she just going to stand there? Valhalla, go ahead, put me to sleep, you bastards. Oh, shit, I just realized, yeah, they're going to be running at me, too. So I have to kill these sleep guys and deal with this. Pain in the ass, but luckily they're walking, so it shouldn't be too bad. I haven't seen Aaron. Where did Aaron spawn? Oh, she's Valhalla? Okay, interesting. 
Or is Valthmir not... Wait, they didn't sleep Seleth? Holy shit, they didn't sleep Seleth, guys. What the fuck? They are... He's 100% in range, but they didn't sleep him. Fantastic. I don't see Aaron, though. So you're... Yeah, you're Belhalla. I was gonna say, I didn't... S what? Grants Miracle and Renewal. Ooh. It's not bad. Hell and sleep, 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 hell and sleep. Fenrir. Um, so yeah, this is another one where once you get there, it's basically stand outside sleep range, set up so the dancer can kill, you kill, like, this guy, self takes it, and you, that's easy enough, Castle to Conquer. The big problem is this, combined with this. They are walking, so I have basically one turn to do some work here. Alright, I don't know where Aaron is, but again, taking my friend's advice, we're gonna go ahead and warp Altina. Back to Chifle here. Bye! I think she hit level 20 just now. Yep, she's promotable. Physics? No, it's not worth it. Um, 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 um. Okay, you got good dance range. Okay, so... We go here, we silence one of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you have a little bit of change, but he won't be able to walk back into range here. So I'm not going to be able to dance for Arthur if I want to silence them. Finn has no jab when I keep forgetting about that. Or if he's got 1-2 range, but it's not going to help, I don't think. Or he's got a jab when he might be able to do it. Uh, 33 gets reduced to 25. Right? Yeah, 25, which is non-lethal. Very unfortunate. That's even if he can double, which he probably can't, because they don't have weight problems. Okay, so Arthur kills one. Silence one with Sid. We move you and So we kill one with you after we dance. We silence two and Arthur kills one. That's four of them taken care of. And if I can just get one more like, Oifi plus someone else. Like, if I move Dermot and Oifi together to kill this one. So, Arthur kills this one. Dermot and Oifi silence these two, kill this one. That should work. I think. What? Who, who, who do you have in range, I guess, is the first thing. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll silence this one. And we'll move you only need to be about here. Actually Yeah, Dermot can Dermot can already reach. So can Oifi. The problem is they won't be able to canter properly, which is why they need to get danced. So we have Dermot here. Oifi. That would I had to check with Oifi. That is Oifi. Okay, Oifi here. Uh Lester here. Dance. And then you can take out this one from this position. Can I L-Wind him down? Uh, no. I... If, when Fee wakes up, I can give him 20 repairs of Forseti, so I can use Forseti here and still repair it. We're fine. We're fine. We can do this.
Nice. Um, okay, yeah, we're, we'll be able to move Lester on the next turn without him getting pummeled this turn. Uh, he does not kill, though, without a crit, because I don't think he can double these guys. 13. Uh, he has, would that be 14 speed? Oh, he has 14 speed. He actually does double. Okay. Barely, but he doubles. Take this guy out. Ooh, shit, I just realized Lester also has, like, no HP. Um... I'll go here, I think. Which do you do? Fenrir is 36. Yeah, he hits lethal, so I need to heal him somehow. Shit, I should have moved him back more. So yeah, you guys are way too far away. Fuck! I might have to redo this turn. Um, we'll see. Uh, Javelin for... Ooh. Yeah, it's gotta be the Javelin. Back off a little bit. I don't think Dermot can kill though with the Earth Sword. He doesn't even do damage, actually. I didn't I forgot about the whole using magic shit. It's like the eighth time now I've tried to. Alright, so I either kill this guy with Sid. Uh, most likely. It's not guaranteed. I'm just going to use the silence. Because no matter what, there's going to be one of them left over. That guy's silenced already. Wait, right? This is the silence guy? Yeah. So silence the... Oops, don't do that. We're going to go here. Silence the far one. So they'll only have one person they can put to sleep. Which is not so bad. I can I can manage that. Aries up here. They don't seem to want to sleep Seleth, so I can put Seleth towards the front here, where he can deal with these mages. 35. Does anyone even threaten him with Tearfring? Where the hell is what's her name? Ishtar? 60? Yeah, she does 19 damage to him, which is a lot, but not like that bad. Weren't there like named? Oh, they're the Falcon Knights ones. Okay, Earth Sword. They don't do that much damage, actually. Um, they do a fair bit of magic, though, if they go for the two range. But, yeah, let's get Seleth on the move. Like I said, probably gonna have to redo this turn because I didn't heal Lester like I should have. But we'll see. Maybe he'll dodge. Johan can take one Fen or one Fenrir if he needs to. Oh shit! I think I might sleep my dancer though. I just realized. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, he would have been in range anyways. I would say maybe if I had slept the other one, but no. They're... I moved her into a position where they could all sleep her if they wanted to. Okay, I still need to find on the map where. Aaron spawn? Where the hell is he? I'm not seeing him. Yeah, I don't know where Aaron is. Maybe he'll spawn this turn, we'll see. Um no. as long as you're back here. Oops, not that. May as well repair this. And fuck it, repair that. 
Oh yeah, does anyone else have people they want to talk to now that we took another castle? You still want to talk to Shannon? Um, but I don't know where we want you to be, so I guess actually you can't really wait there, so I guess it's... But yes, we want to check real quick because we took another castle. Nope. 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 Still want to talk to Leaf. You want to talk to Arthur now? You still want to talk to Seleth. Alright, well, let's see what the damages are here. Oh, well, this is, uh, yeah, there we go. We have no home to return to, men, but we must keep going, nonetheless. Shafale's fall to our blades shall... Shafale's fall to our blades shall be the first step to winning back our fatherland. Now, move in. Show these liberators one final def defiance from the Draco Knights of Thracia. All six of you. Oh, Valthmir does move before Valhalla. Okay. Oh, they're part of Valthmir. Okay. Good night, Shannon. And probably death to Lester. No, he didn't target Lester. Interesting. Well, thank you for not targeting Lester. I mean, it still hurts like hell, but we're fine. Julia is still trying to make her way across the entire battlefield. I think we're gonna switch the autosave again here to the next file. Because this is gonna be an interesting turn. Actually, real quick, I wanna check on. Okay, there relatively far away. If they've moved their full move, one, two, yeah. He, I think, are these upgraded? Yeah. They're all upgraded. He does have gun near. Two, so. If they do land here, actually we can just count their spaces from where they started here, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think they started about there, so they didn't move their full move. So that means if they are on that spot here, from here, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we can't quite talk to him. So what we can do is we can... Guard the castle with you. He's going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so he can't actually, unless Gunnir has one, two range, it does not. So yeah, they they won't be able to get to the castle, and she can. Uh, talk to him without him accidentally getting himself killed, among other things. Alright, so now what are we doing here is the question. 